Hi, um, this is Charlie Calvert and I wanted to show you just a couple quick um, tips that you can use to help you debug uh, code that's troubling you, that just seems to be causing a lot of uh, confusion to you. Okay, let's suppose we have a very simple HTML file. As you can see, it's got a doc type, it's got an HTML, got a head section, we've included jQuery, and we have a single header in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that file, and there it is. Very, very simple, test mock PT, P270 right there. So let's go ahead and we'll add in one element. We'll add in a P element with an ID equal to content. And we won't put anything in it from now. Let's say we want to um, add content in there with some uh, JavaScript. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add in a CSS file. So let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll go and we'll create a new style and we'll just have it hang on to the H1 tag, okay? And we'll put it in a new style sheet and we'll pick the font family and we'll set it to Georgia and we'll set the uh, <clears throat> color to aqua say and we'll set the background with a background color of blue so uh, and that's all we're gonna do and do we want to attach the new style sheet yes we do and we'll go ahead and we'll save the new style sheet we'll just call it default and uh, it's being fussy so we'll just call it default one and then we'll come over here and we'll take a look at our work and see what it looks like and it works okay so we've added that little item to the style sheet and then let's go over here and let's uh, create a little script um, called default.js And let's go ahead and actually define that file. And again, we'll call this default. And we will, inside of here, let's do a couple different things. First, let's fill in that p tag. Remember that p tag we've got sitting there with uh, with no uh, actual content in it, but with an ID of content. So we'll come over here to our JavaScript file and we'll say that we want to add a little um, jQuery here. We'll work with a ready method which will be called um, automatically when the document's ready to be worked with. And we'll add in a simple function here and the function we'll do will uh, search for the uh, content ID and it will set its HTML to some text. And why don't we also, while we're at it, why don't we uh, do a little bit of styling here. We'll uh, set the body and the content for that particular guy to have a couple traits here. We'll say that they're CSS. Um, will look like this. They'll have a background color of blue and they'll have a color for their text of aqua. And let's go over and we'll take a look at that and it worked, right? So everything's working here. But that's not the way things go in the real world, right? In the real world, we have problems. So let's create some problems and see if we can figure out what's wrong. 
we're going to go ahead here and we're going to break the connection to both of our JavaScript file, both of our files here. And we press um, F5 to refresh it and everything's broken here. We've, we, we know we have all this good stuff attached to it and we know the good stuff that we've attached to it is working but um, we can't find it. So what you do is we're in Chrome right now so you press F12 to bring up the development tools and we'll bring them up here and let's put them in the screen area so that you can see them easily and we'll look here at what resources we have available and if you look here you can see that well there's only one script attached and that's jQuery well that we know that was attached but there's no sign of the um, JS file and there's no fine sign of the CSS file that we might have wanted to work with here so that gives us some sense right away that things aren't linked in right they're just not there if we come over here to the script section again we can see jQuery but we can't see anything else so everything's telling us it's not right so this gives us some sense you know are things linked in are things not linked in and the answer is that told us that they're not so we'll come back here we'll press F5 and then we'll go back into our resource here and now you can see the style seat is showing up here okay in the frames under resources because it is in fact linked in but still no sign of our default.js file so let's go back we know what's wrong we know it's not linked in right because some of your question is did I write the wrong syntax what's gone wrong is it linked in is it not linked in so now we've linked it back in we'll come back over here we'll press F5 and we'll go back into our debugger and look there's default.js okay so everything's there and you can see it and if they're not there if the scripts aren't there and the style sheets aren't there you know they're not hooked in this is how we can use the developer tools that are built in to Chrome to help us see what's hooked in and what's not hooked into our files so let's go back and just cause a little more havoc let's come into here and say we called um, <clears throat> HTML s here inside of our JavaScript file which is a non-existent method so we'll come back to our file we'll press F5 and we can see things are broken and we know again things are broken so we go back into our debugger and we come over here and we look see there's a little red one in front of default here in our resources section it's telling us there's an error here if we click on it it's telling us right here it says uncaught type error object has no method HTML s so it's really specific it's telling us exactly what's wrong here there's no method HTML s so we can come back and fix that we know right where to look because it's told us exactly what's wrong we can come back press F5 things are good let's make one last error here sometimes we make subtle syntax errors like we'll put a semicolon here okay now we come back F5 things are broken we know something's wrong we go into the debugger and and things have really kind of gone crazy here for us but again if we look there's default with a one error in front of it we can find it uncaught syntax error unexpected token semicolon now here there's a number of semicolons in here but we at least know what it is we're looking for and you know really with any knowledge at all of JavaScript we know that semicolons good we know that semicolons good because all of our lines end with a semicolon that can't be the problem so we, we get a pretty good idea of what it is um, here that on line four there's it's this place where we're, where we're encountering the, the difficulty so we go back into our source code we remove the error and we come back over here and we press F5 and we're up and running again so that's all I wanted to say give you some chance to see how you can use the built-in tools to help you clean up um, errors that you might encounter in your programs thanks for listening Charlie Calvert uh, have a good evening